Hello fellow normies and neats and welcome to my channel. Um, the topic of today's video is going to be about insomnia and the reason I'm making it uh, today or tonight, whatever you want to call it in particular, is because, well, I only managed to get uh, three hours of sleep tonight and for the past three days, uh, combined, I've only managed to have around eight hours of sleep. Uh, and, well, this is obviously a problem because every time I wake up, you know, I feel this sense of tiredness and, like, grogginess and, um, I don't know, you just this sort of, like, weird ache in my head. And every part of me like wants to go back to sleep but i just fucking can't and yeah it's such a cancer to deal with insomnia is terrible and i hope nobody has to uh ever go through this but anyways um yeah i'd say my insomnia problems started to get a lot worse when um I started going to university because I think it's just when I was, uh, you know, in lower, middle, and high school, like, I was helicopter parented, so my parents were pretty strict about, um, I guess, my sleep schedule and would basically force me to go to bed at certain times, which I guess is normal for most children, and they kind of eased up by high school, but I think it's just all the freedom I had when I started going to university. Um, it made it so that I, um, I don't know, basically said, fuck it all. And I started going to bed later and later until I was sleeping at the, I don't know, ungodly hours of, I don't know, four or five in the morning, sometimes even eight in the morning. And uh, I don't know, just all that freedom must have messed up my, um, my sleep cycles and my circadian rhythms. And, you know, just going to bed when the sun's already out probably is not very good for your brain. But anyways, I feel like that probably played a role in me having insomnia right now, but even more so becoming a neat because Ever since I've become full-time neat, um, and there's actually a complicated story behind my neat neatum because I've been in and out of being neat um, several times. But anyways, I guess whenever I am, whenever I'm neat, uh, I feel like my insomnia gets so much worse, and I think. It's partly because, um, you know, well, I'm stuck in this um, room all day and all night and it's in my basement. And the only light I ever really see is either um, the light which uh, gets through this uh, window behind me, if you can see that. Uh, and I usually have it covered up because or I usually have the blinds down because I don't want um, anyone seeing me inside here being a degen. So yeah, I like to have the blinds down. And because of that, all of the natural sunlight just never gets in what little sunlight can get into the basement, never gets inside. So um, I just end up using the light that's on right now. So I'm basically stuck with artificial light all day. And um, as well as staring at the light from my computer screen behind me. And yeah, um, I, that probably isn't very good for my sleep cycles because, well, you have the blue light and the very little sunlight and the fake light on top, which I think is probably just another form of blue light with some like yellow filter on it. I have no idea how lights work, but 
that definitely affects the uh, sleep cycles because I don't know, to my knowledge, the brain determines when you should and shouldn't go to sleep by basing it on how much sunlight touches your skin and enters your eyes. And when you don't have the sunlight, um, if when or when, um, I guess you don't have proper sunlight, it's more difficult for your body to tell what's real light and what's not. And when you're staring, when I stare at a computer sc screen all day and use it until, I don't know, three or four in the morning, uh, which I normally do watching uh, fucking YouTube videos, then I don't know, I guess my brain thinks that it's always daytime. So therefore, I never feel sleepy and my brain's hyperactive. And when I try to go to bed, what ha ends up happening is that, um, well, you know, I lie down. Um, I, um, I lie down, close my eyes, and I even do shit that I read online, like try and control my breathing, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, none of it fucking works. And I'm just lying in bed and... I just can't fucking fall asleep and you know it's the most frustrating thing because even on nights like uh i guess tonight or i guess by the time you're watching this i don't know sorry or by the time or like actually what am i saying i mean or i guess well it's actually morning now and yeah um what was i saying oh yeah um i just lie in bed and i close my eyes and you know, I don't know, I just, it's like, I'm stuck, I'm just stuck thinking about the randomest shit in bed, and I just can't force myself to go to sleep, like, and even now, like, I feel physically tired, I don't feel like, um, I could do much, and I feel lazy, I feel, I don't know, I feel, I just picked my nose on camera. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm going to edit that out because I'm too lazy and for authenticity's sake. But, um, <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I feel like I'm losing my goddamn mind. Like, you know, just the fucked up feeling you get when you don't have proper sleep. <sighs> so, if you guys are wondering why... There is a sudden jump cut to me sitting on my bed, looking all burnt out and pissed off. It's because I just lost 13 minutes, I think, around 13 minutes of quality content. Oh my God. I was actually doing really good too. I'm so pissed at myself. Um, I apologize to my current viewers for the extremely low quality of content and you know i think i finally learned my lesson to always make sure my phone camera i mean my phone is charged when i do these videos because i shot it when it was around maybe 10 15 percent and it fucking run out ran out of battery at the seven minute mark and oh my god I think that was my best video yet and I just lost over half of it because of my stupidity and I'm honestly too lazy right now to uh, try and do that all over that whole that whole rant all over again because oh my god I'm already tired um I pretty much use up all the willpower I have for today on making or trying to make this video. So my apologies, I'm probably gonna reshoot it again sometime in the future, assuming, and I guess most likely that I still suffer from this problem, but I'll just briefly go go over what I talked about. Um, I basically talked about um, two things, uh, the problems I have going to sleep and the problems I have staying asleep. Uh, the problems that I had Going to sleep, um, this include uh, things like um, just lying in bed and, you know, thinking all of these useless thoughts. Um, 
These thoughts can either be positive or negative, depending on whether I'm feeling depressed or manic and that I prefer these thoughts to be manic because, well, there it's generally uh, just pointless mental masturbation where I just think really, um, really good things about myself, most, most of which are not based in any sort of reality. And I just think about my, all about my untapped potential and stuff like that, blah, 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 blah. How I'm going to become rich in, in the future and show all the people who doubted me in my life. All the people who uh, bullied me. I'm going to beat the shit up, beat the shit out of all my bullies, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going to become a millionaire and do it. <laughs> Holy shit. I can, I can make a whole video about my delusions, my manic delusions. But anyways, yeah, I just think about stuff like that. And when I'm depressed, I think about stuff like, oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm a useless fucking piece of shit. I'm a failure. I'm blah, 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 but, and I feel depressed. I think about all the times I fucked up, uh, you know, talking to people, being awkward and shit, and all the opportunities I've let go and everything like that. And, oh my God, and what am I doing? I'm losing my mind. Anyways, um, yeah, like, I just do that, and I think about stupid shit like that, and I just end up not being able to go to sleep because my mind either becomes hyperactive when I'm manic or it just becomes this weird, I don't know. I feel tired and depressed when I'm depressed, but I still can't go to sleep for some reason. And yeah, the other thing is I hurt my back um, a few years back and it's mostly healed thankfully, but I still get these weird electric pains and these, it's really uncomfor uncomfortable for me to lie down um, when I'm doing that, so what ends up happening is that I just, um, yeah, I just lie down and constantly move around, readjust my back, trying to find that one sweet spot where I don't feel this pinching feeling in my spine because that's where I injured myself. I, I fractured my, one of my vertebrae, but anyways, um, yeah, point being that combined with my useless thoughts and also another added thing is that when my feet are cold, I have to wear several pairs of socks, but irregardless, my feet and my hands feel cold. So that also keeps me up. And all these stupid things combined just make it impossible for me to fall asleep. And um, problems staying as problems staying asleep are that uh, when my mom uh, keeps turning on the thermostat, turning up the thermostat, because well, um, I just. I'm really, I guess as a guy, I'm really sensitive to heat and I'll, I'll oftentimes wake up in a, in a pool of sweat because uh, my mom turned up the goddamn thermostat all the way up to, uh, I don't know, however the fuck hot it is for it to reach 32 degrees Celsius in my bathroom and most likely my room. I say my bathroom because I have a, that's where I have a thermostat and it measures 32 degrees. I might as well be sleeping in a goddamn dry sauna. Holy crap. But anyways, I know that I have no right to complain because I'm staying in my parents' house for free. But I mean, I just wish she would be a little bit, a tiny bit more considerate. And, you know, make it something reasonably warm. Some middle ground. But she has to turn it all the way up to uh, fucking 32 degrees. Like, how how little body heat do you generate to have to turn it up? that high. I mean, that's basically like having a fever, right? Well, actually, no, but still, why would you ever turn it up that high? Like, just makes no sense to me. Like, even my dad complains about it. But yeah, there's that. And just the fact that I just, I don't know, I don't know what, what other reasons there are for me not staying asleep, but I just can't stay asleep. And then when I wake up, oh, yeah, because waking up to piss. And when I wake up to piss or wake up to drink water because I'm feeling dehydrated. I just uh, can't, um, I go and fulfill my my biological needs. And when I try and go back to bed, I just can't fall back asleep because, well, I've gotten up. Like, it's like within a minute of waking up, I lose that ability to just seamlessly go back to sleep. But I can not fall asleep anyways because um, well, I need to, you know, take a piss or drink water. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going to die. But I just, so I just do these things. And then it's like I lose that 
that pure sleepiness that you could just lie you know you know how there's like different types of sleepiness there's that but there's that like perfect sleepiness where you just you're so tired and you can barely keep your eyes open and you're uh um you're you're just like you would do you would give anything to just lie in a soft warm bed and cover yourself with a soft warm blanket and it's like I lose that so what I'm stuck with now is just this weird fucking like fake sleepiness where my head's groggy I can't think straight um I just feel like shit and I'm stuck with that but when I try and lie down it's like I have, to, I have to repeat that whole three or four hour process of falling back asleep and it's just such a pain in the ass so anyways yeah it's like once I wake up immediately within one or two minutes of doing that I lose the ability to fall back asleep again and then it, so that's another reason why I can't um fall asleep anyways uh my dad's up so I don't want him hearing me talking about this, so I'm probably just gonna end the video now. But anyways, if you've liked what you've seen, um, uh, hit make sure to hit the subscribe or like button down below. And uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.